In the world of Australian rules football, it was a lengthy and exhaustive search, but finally, the Australian Football League, AFL, has found its next CEO. The man for the job is Andrew Dillon, the league's Executive General Manager of Football Operations. Dillon, a safe choice, has been working at the AFL for over two decades and knows the pitfalls and challenges of running the biggest sporting competition in the country. A former amateur player himself, Dillon played 290 games for the Old Zavarians in the VAFA, winning six consecutive premierships from 1995 to 2000. He was said to be solid and reliable, the traits that the AFL will want in its new CEO. Dylan has a background in law, with a Bachelor of Commerce and Bachelor of Laws from the University of Melbourne and a postgraduate diploma in Applied Finance and Investment from the Securities Institute of Australia. Dylan's appointment is a nod to the old-school way of doing things, with his family being intrinsically linked with Australian sport, including his father becoming the eighth president of the VAFA, his father-in-law being a former Melbourne Cricket Club president and former test opener, and his uncle being an outspoken member of the Catholic Church. Some pundits had hoped that this would be the opportunity for one of several talented and innovative women to become the next AFL CEO, but the league ultimately decided to go with a male CEO. However, it did show some investment in the future by giving former North Melbourne high flyer and Melbourne University player Laura Kane a shot at backfilling Dylan's role. While Dylan may not have the same charisma or marketing prowess as his predecessor, Gillan McLaughlin, he will provide a steady set of hands at the wheel during some stormy seas ahead in the AFL journey. So, while it remains to be seen whether Dylan was the right choice for the job, one thing is for sure, the AFL will be hoping that he can guide them to success just like McLaughlin did during arguably the most successful stint a CEO has had sitting atop the red leather throne at Docklands.